All right, so my name is Oscar Warner. I'm president of Toby Tech, and what we see here is the MSI GT72 um, Dominator Pro laptop with Toby eye tracking integrated. So you see the little bar down in the bottom uh, is the eye tracker, and this is the world's first gaze enabled laptop. So this is a laptop that knows where you're looking, and that gives a lot of added features to games. So basically, what you see here is Assassin's Creed Syndicate. So Ubisoft have implemented eye tracking in the PC version of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. That's going to come out in, in mid, mid Q1 of 2016. So what you see here is basically, this adds another layer of control to the gamer. So when Damien here is looking at the different towers, he's just looking at the towers and he's selecting them by the gaze. So he doesn't have to turn the scene camera in order to select where he wants to where he wants to go, and then it goes over by pressing a button. So what this gives you is another layer of control. Basically, you can aim with your gaze, and you no longer have to turn the scene camera for every for every direction that you want to take. So this decouples the scene camera from the gaze, and it gives you as a gamer an extra layer of freedom because now you can shoot in one direction and run in another at the same time and um, which is obviously a very very powerful thing so what we're going to see here is Damien walking in here and he's going to be from the top and he's going to mark the different characters that he see you see when he's looking at them they become they become when he's looking at this character he is marking the character and see their skill level and he's doing that by gaze only so he doesn't have to turn the scene camera so normally he has to turn the scene camera in order to mark them, but here he only needs to look at them, and when he looks at them, he's marking them basically. So again, using targeting with the eyes. So all of this also gives a, another layer, layer of immersion and makes the gameplay a lot more fluid and a lot more immersive because it replicates, replicates how we do it in real life. If I want to know something about something, somebody, I just look at them. If I want to throw something, like the grapple hook, I just look at the area I want to throw, throw and that's how I aim. So Oscar, where do you see this technology going in the next five years with smart TVs and other games? Well, in, in the gaming industry, I see it being, we now have around about 30 games implemented, so it's going to increase a lot. The big one, new ones are now Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Tom Clancy, the division, is also going to have it. So it's going to be a lot of games implementing it for a wide variety of different things. It could be aiming, shooting, or eye contact, players interacting with you when they look at them. Then it's going to be different devices. So this is PC gaming. We have a initiative for VR. I mean, doing it in VR is the same thing: selecting, shooting, aiming, and with VR. It's going to go into the mobile ta tablet and, and tablet, tablet and phone industry. And uh, looking at the console is, is an obvious step in the, into the future. But right now, we focus on VR and PC gaming.